Hello everyone, Crydex here. Welcome back to our Angel Bob's Omni playthrough. So, um, I... Let's see, what did I do? I did something between episodes. I don't remember what. Oh, I deleted these furnaces, and I think I did one other thing. Can't remember what it was, though. Oh, I put these two research stations back. Anyway, welcome to today's gameplay. We are going to be hopefully getting... Why did... Did I miss with that? Yeah, I missed that one. Um, we are hopefully going to be getting a lot better technology. Our Anbark mining will be done soon. And then we can replace all these high pollutant burner miner drills with more efficient Anbark miners. And we can get some more copper and iron going. I'm guessing these chests are going to fill up in a fairly short amount of time. But, so maybe I shouldn't put the copper so far away from the iron. That feels kind of dumb now that I'm looking at it. Uh, but it is what it is. And then I also need to automate the Omni, Omnisium, is what it's called. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to do that, because it requires both Steerotite and Sapphirite. So I could add another one of these guys on the other side, cut down a few trees, and then he will do the recipe that gives me equal parts. And then we will unload, but oh man, I need all sorts of stuff. What am I out of? Probably Omnisium actually. Well, at least we got a bunch more there. Um, so we need some more Omni Tours, I'm guessing. Yeah, we got plenty of iron. So we'll craft this stuff, and then we'll have this sort left crushed stone, which is where? I need to learn how to find it without searching. There it is. Um, and that will go in a chest, like so. And then the rest of it will be Saphirite and Steerotite, which we then need to crush. So I'll need two crushers for that, and that needs to be sent. The crushed stone from that needs to be sent back too. So we've got so much crushed stone everywhere. Uh, so I'll put these guys here. I need two more. And then... I can feed that directly in, but the problem is going to be the crushed stone. So, let's see. Sapphirite, Steerotite. And then, how do I want to do this? Maybe I'll just use long inserters instead. And we'll go this way. And then crushed. Uh, yeah. Switch this. And then the crushed stone will go left. And I need a lot more belts. There we go. And then the other stuff will come out and be available. Oh, and then the other nice part is we can easily put on different sides of the belt. So that way steer tight and sapphire will be on separate sides. And then we can get one of, or even a couple of these furnaces. I'm thinking two is all we're going to need. That's 0.8 per second. That's actually a decent rate. I can always make a bigger build later, but I just want to get things automated so that I can kind of build a base at the moment. And then once I have everything running, I can do bigger builds later. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do four, just to make sure we have enough. And these power poles are going to be a bit in the way, so I'll move them over. That light will be in the way. And we'll take advantage of sideways inserters. And 
we'll do this. And then we'll copy this angle, insert twice, copy this one. There we go. And we need power. I believe these are all already powered. Oh shoot, I messed up. Because these also need um, Omnite to be added in, which I can do with long inserters. So I need to shift all of this up one, which is gonna be kind of annoying. Because these Omni furnaces have such a slow mining time. I need to research that steel axe. Oh, I also placed the two turrets that I made. That's the other thing I did between episodes. Okay, so we actually want this to be here. Place everything. Inserters. Omni furnaces. That single belt. And then we need long, long boy inserters. Oh, weird. Those went the wrong direction. Huh. I wonder if that's normal. And then... We also have to do this. There we go. Okay, I think we're finally good to go. Now we just need to select the right recipe. And these are messed up as well. So I guess don't trust the picker mod with underground belt directions. All right, I think that'll do it. Those require 1.6 anyway. So that would be four of these buildings, which we don't have enough for. I can always do two. I should probably do two. Um, I also don't need three inserters. That's overkill. Even on the output, I don't need three. Okay, so we'll at least do a couple more. There. And then we need some more lamps lamps to light our way here and now we're getting omnisium which we'll put in a chest here there we go sweet okay well we've automated all the things i can take these guys out now A lot of crushed stone still, a lot of extra, anyway. I guess I can feed some of it into our uncrusher. Make sure he has enough fuel. And we are just a couple gears short of a happy meal here wondering, I was like, it's still at 97%. How's that possible? And I also am probably strapped for power. Well, this guy's ran out, but this guy still has some left inside. But I know I'm using more than I'm producing, right? Last minute? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need few more of these because these are each 100 megawatts only or kilowatts i mean so i'll need a few more than just two i'll have like six up here we'll move our power uh let's see take all that stuff it's delicious get rid of that i have all sorts of crushed stuff that I need to get rid of. 
I just realized it was a huge mistake to put... Here, let me just take it all out. The reason it's a mistake to put it in here is because the, the numbers need to balance out exactly. And the only way they can balance out exactly is if these two are being crushed properly. And I may even... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do the same thing where I put them on different sides of the belt, depending on which resource it is. That'll help. Oh, I just threw out the numbers by putting the ore in there, too. Hopefully that doesn't mess things up too much. Um... I guess we'll see. Why are these still showing up on... Oh, right. I'm dumb. These both produce two of each type, so they're always going to show up on different sides of the belt. So I actually need to sort right here for sapphirite ore, and then that'll come down on the right side. And then these I'll need to put on the close side. And then I think this will all work out properly. And then I can feed all of this extra to the smelters, which I don't know why they've stopped, to be honest. We definitely need some more power over here, or fuel, I mean. But why are we why are we stopped here? Oh, because this guy is out of fuel. That's actually the reason. Well, that'll fix that. And then this guy needs some serious help. Between all of them. We get half as much crushed stone again, so that's another 0.4, another 0.4. On top of 2.4 is 3.2 crushed stone per second that this all produces. But I think we're running again properly this time. And we'll get about 1.2 per second from all of this. Although it looks like it will cap out at 0.8. Sweet. Okay, so we've automated Omnisium. We've got our electric miners finished, so I can actually craft those now. Those require iron gear wheels, Anbaric, Omnitors. Let's get some more copper plates going. And then these guys will make heat. Okay. And then... Let's move these over. Oh, yes. My whole base does not like that, does it? And then we'll put them back over here. I'm guessing you can place them in line like this. Yeah, that seems to work just fine. I always forget about rotating the other direction. I end up just triple rotating. I should probably use Shift R more often. How, how quickly can I get real electricity? Steam engine. That's Steam Engine 2. It's weird that Steam Engine 2 is only Automation Science Pack when Steam Engine 1 is the Transport Science Pack. I think that's because of how Omni changes it. Omni says, hey, you're going to have to work harder to get Steam Power. Um, the main reason I want Steam Power is just because boilers are so much more efficient. 18 in terms of space. Like, we get 1.8 megawatts out of one of these, whereas we only get 100 mega. Sorry. 100 kilowatts out of a burner omni tractor so we do need 120 transport packs but other than that it's actually not too bad so i probably will work towards that the first thing to do is basic omnified fuel um so now that we actually got the glitch fixed with this crushed omnite so one omnite is how much fuel i think it's 1.6 megajoules yeah and if we crush it then theoretically it would still be worth 1.6 megajoules but if we turn it into fuel then that five crushed can turn into 4.8 megajoules and five crushed comes from 3.2 plus another 0.8 comes from four megajoules worth of omnite so we get a, a solid 20% boost when we omnify the fuel. And it's just a denser fuel, which is nice. Okay, so I need to load this stuff up. 
I'll literally just give away all of it into those two buildings. And then we can start getting rid of these. I'll just get rid of one row for now. Yeah, the main thing I'm worried about is power. These each require 90 kilowatts, which is an entire burner omni tractor making heat. So, for every single electric mining drill, I need a burner omni tractor burning omnite. Which is kind of interesting. So, I actually need a lot more of these. Five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do eight more, which should help. I wonder if this is worse for pollution than the burner drills in the first place. Um, unless I'm missing something, these don't even make pollution. Is that right? Interesting. I wonder if that's a decision on purpose or an accident, but none of these Omni buildings consume fuel. The Omni burners don't. The Omni furnaces don't. The Omni labs don't. The burner assembling machines do cause pollution, but the Omnitor assembling machines don't. I wonder if that's just to help the early game and like the electric versions make pollution. Let's find out. Electric Omni tractor. Uh, no. No pollution. Huh. It's kind of weird. I mean, everything else will make pollution between Bobs and Angels and stuff, so it's not... It's not going to make a huge difference, but it is kind of weird that there's no... No pollution from those buildings. I mean, is that true for all the Omni buildings? Omni... Plant? Yep, no pollution. Crystal Omnalyzer, no pollution. It's interesting. All the angels stuff, like the smelting, like casting units, those make pollution, right? Yeah. So that's just, I guess, a, a quirk of Omni. Five, six, seven, eight. So we'll start with eight, because we have eight of these guys. Or I thought I had eight, anyway. And then I will need some more pipes, which are in logistics. I'll take some Omnisium plates. And I should really fix this whole plate being far away situation. Make some more belts. And I am expecting to be attacked soon. We'll see if that happens in this episode or not. You know, I wonder if I should be making like iron plates and copper plates in these Omni furnaces. Oh, we can also make coal just out of wood. That's good to know. Hmm. I feel like I probably should just because they use half of the power and they create no pollution. So that is a pretty big upgrade. There we go, I used the rotation tool properly. Okay, so between all of these we can get a hundred, well, I guess the heat part doesn't really matter. What matters is that these each make a hundred kilowatts. Perfect, okay. So I should be able to handle at least these eight electric mining drills. I'll put four on each side. And we'll get belt going, which should probably be a few more. Oh, shucks. I can use undergrounds for power distribution. <laughs> Beautiful. 
And there goes our power consumption, that's for sure. But now we can get this over here. And so we've got a baseline of four per second that's already on the belt. And then the inserters can add more. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, this needs more omnisium plates. Take the omnitors. Probably have too many cable at this point. Let's keep a few in there. Alright, so we do need to keep making gears and science. Don't want to slow down on that. Fill those guys back up. I don't need this little setup for crushing Omnite. We have better recipes for that now. And honestly, this setup can be better, but I don't really need it to be better right now. Got plenty of wood for now. And the science pack. Transport science pack. I don't remember if I mentioned this or not. Um, I did get the mod back. Wait, hold on. Thought I installed the mod. Oh, it also got reset. Okay. I tried to install the mod and then I uninstalled it when I made some changes to try to fix the glitch. Uh, what mod am I talking about, you ask? Because I'm not being clear about that. The mod that changes the science pack colors back to default. Uh, I think it's just called like vanilla science or something like that. And we're stalled out again on fuel. So let's fuel these puppies up. And then I don't really want to be holding a bunch of random crushed Omnite, so I'm going to put that away for now. I'm going to craft some more firearms. I need to give those guys Omnite. just realized I haven't done that yet. So in terms of power, each burner drill, or yeah, each electric drill is producing 800 megawatts worth of Omnite, kilowatts, sorry, uh, but it's consuming 90 kilowatts. So 710 is the net gain for each electric drill. For each burner drill, it's consuming 150, and it's only producing a fourth of one point, so 400. Wow, I didn't know burners were that bad. So for each Omnite they produce, they use almost half of an Omnite. Or I guess 150 out of 400, so a little bit less than half. But we are losing a lot of Omnite to just running the burner drills. So it does, it does make sense that we would wanna switch over some more fuel to that guy and then how easily can we make that omnified fuel oh, we don't need hell mod yet uh, so what is it called omni what about just fuel I wonder what this is that because I turned on hidden yeah, let me turn that off uh, omni fuel I don't actually know what it's called. It's called Purified Omnite. That's why I wasn't finding it. Purified. There we go. So this stuff is made in an Omni Furnace. So I do think it will be beneficial to use this as fuel instead of regular Omnite. Because we gain, we gain a little bit. Because yeah, 4.8 megajoules comes from 5 crushed Omnite, which comes from 2.5 regular Omnite, which is 4 megajoules worth of Omnite. Okay, I just wanted to confirm to myself that that math was correct. So I'll make a burner. I already have an Omni Furnace. And we can set up a little fuel station. Uh, furnace, put that there. 
you will make the purified Omnite fuel. Also just feed it with what's in there already. You are just there to crush Omnite. Oh, the rate is massive, so I'm going to move this turret over. I need to put that on the corner. And now we can use the magic of long inserters. So that we can have four inserters go into town at the same time. So that's producing 20 per second at a maximum. This can only use 2.5 though, so I guess it doesn't really matter. No reason to waste some inserters. Uh, 2.5 does need a couple. So, and then the output is one per second, so you can just have the good old regular inserter. So I'm actually going to have two then, two Omni furnaces running. I'm going to make this look better. This is just an ugly mess at the moment. And these guys need fuel. Let me fix that real quick. Oh, I still have some burner inserters. Didn't notice that. We will fix that. Here's. Make sure we keep getting science. Uh, okay, so then we feed this way, and then we have two furnaces. this. Those move to 2.3. These have an input of up to 2.5. So we actually need this. another sideways inserter just to make sure. And then we'll put that on a belt and put that in a chest. Perfect. Okay, so Omnite goes in. And then crushed Omnite, I can start them out with quite a bit. And then I think they'll naturally use Crushed Omnite as fuel, which is fine because the amount of power that they require is very small, 45 kilowatts. It's tiny. Okay, how are we doing on heat? We probably need more Omnite here, just to make sure we keep going. All right, I feel like we're actually doing pretty well. Grab some more Omnisium plates. Wow, 443. That's a huge number. I don't know how a Sapphirite got there. Sorry, Steerotite. I always mix those up. But I think we are set on that. So I do want to work towards steam power. So we'll do the Electric Labs. Also known as Anbaric Labs. So this is weird. I don't know if you guys know answers to questions like this, but why? Oh no, like why is it not filling up more Omnite? There's plenty of Omnite here. It's like these inserters are waiting until his output's empty, but then by the time they get started, they're too slow to actually fill it up. That's, that feels glitchy. I mean, I swear that this isn't how buildings normally work. Right? Because, like, that stuff, it should be running again. But it's waiting until those are absolutely empty before it even starts filling up the input. I wonder if that happens with the electric ones, or if that's just a weirdness of burner machines. I don't know if that's how burner machines always work, or... I'm just missing something. But that definitely is a little strange. I don't think that's how it normally works. Um, and now it is time to make the Anbaric Omnitors automated. Which is not going to be too hard because we can just grab 
We do need some more inserters though. But we can grab the copper cable from here. We can grab the Omni Tours from here and the Omnisium from here. So then we can actually automate the Anbaric Omnitor. And those stack to 100, so we'll let two stacks of those exist. Four stacks of these. I'll give this all of my uh, Omnisium, and we'll let that run. That'll save us a lot of crafting time. Grab some Omnisium. Still don't know what's wrong with these. Or why the output gets full so quickly. I feel like that's not the case with other buildings. But. Maybe that's wrong. Okay, so now I'm going to get a few more turrets. And some more ammo. Expand our borders a little bit. Craft some more gears here. And then I'll make a bit more of an official science setup. I think five is plenty for now. Ah, uh, science, where are you? There we go. I will need a bunch of. Here, I'm just gonna hand craft or uh, automate bullets real quick. So you are going to make bullets out of the iron plates. Probably should have separate chest though. And then we'll start with 200 iron plates. Go to make bullets. And then I did want two more gun turrets. So we'll put one here. Put one there. I like them to have coverage for each other. I can probably take one of these out of the middle. Fifteen-ish. Okay. One more. Fifteen ammo. Okay. So that should defend this area pretty well. Alright, I need a million more inserters. Classic. Basic circuit boards, burner inserters, burner inserters require gears on the tours. Okay. Just trying to think about all the different things I need in my inventory to make the inserters faster. Okay, so we need some fuel. Put some fuel in there. Take everything you got. Make sure we got copper. And then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. So circuit boards are the only thing I'm not crafting properly at the moment. Eh, I guess I'll make six. Keep it even. And then I'll go down here, and I'll make a row of labs on either side here. I guess I'll need another gun. Gun turret, that is. And then we'll need a chest for copper. And gears. 
but the one for gears i'd rather have just be iron so what's the rate here 0.25 gears i'm guessing yeah this guy can handle it so he will make gears from there this will be copper Need some more of those guys. Transport belts is what I believe they're called. It's not like, you know, you use those every day, so it's easy to forget the name. And then that should get some science going. I need some more plates, though. Okay, so that makes up to 0.5, we only need up to 0.3, inserters are all adequate, beautiful, 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 we'll give these guys some fuel, I guess that should include the gear maker, and then we just need some labs. I'll make a bunch more because I'm going to need them anyway. The Anbaric Labs require Omnitor Labs first, so. Two, three. Okay, I need to go grab some Omnite for those to burn, or I guess I can use fuel, but... Uh, we do need to give this guy some more Omnite to make fuel out of. And I guess I'll give these guys just a little bit of Omnite to start out. Beautiful. Okay, our research is becoming much more official. I'm gonna remove this stuff. All right. Then I can add two more. What I really want is three more. Okay, and then another power, and we need some lamps along here. Perfect. And there we go. Now we can get our Anbaric Labs. So I'll make two at a time, because th they consumed the previous lab type. Well, we need a lot of basic circuit boards. Maybe this isn't worth it. I also don't have that much electricity yet, so you know what? Uh, scratch that. We're just going to put these back for now. And balance out the fuel in all of them. And that should be fine. Okay. Oh, we need more iron. We need more iron. Always more iron. Okay, and the reason I'm short on iron is because I'm short on Omni. So, Omnite. So let me put a little bit into here. Okay, but now I can get the transport science packs unlocked and then steam power. Now, the transport science packs require inserters and basic transport belts. So that means to get steam power, I need 120 inserters. That is a lot. So we are going to have to give a lot more 
or we need a lot more Omni tours to be created for us. That's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna make some more belts myself, and then probably, let's see, I guess we'll have this come down a little bit further and over. to bring the copper closer to the iron. And I can make this fancier later, but for now that's fine. All right. So another research I should probably do before that 120 thing is to have even more, <clears throat> excuse me, even more sapphirite focusing. That's probably better. So we'll do those two first. Because I still just have way too much copper. And that'll help me get more iron for using the same amount of Omnite. But yeah, the power situation is just pretty rough with these. <laughs> They do not produce power anywhere close to a burner, or a boiler, is the word I meant to say. Okay, we've got lots of tablets. I'll trade out some more stone, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. This purified omnite <clears throat> only stacks to two point, or sorry, stacks to two hundred, whereas regular omnite stacks to five hundred. <clears throat> so even though purified omnite is more efficient, it's actually less total megajoules in a whole stack, which is kind of interesting because you would expect it to be more. but it ends up being the same. What's the rate on all this? <laughs> Even after all that, it's only 18 per minute. That's that's pretty funny. That is not a lot of uh, research. And I think these researches will automatically change the recipe that those guys are working with, because it's like a, it's a replacement recipe. So how's my power doing? Looks like we're using about a megawatt, but we have 16 of those running, so we have enough power. I'll keep taking more Anbaric. Omni Tours. Craft some more belts. All right, we're looking pretty good. Got lots of gears now. Take some firearm magazines. Still haven't been attacked, so that's nice. Looks like pollution is more or less staying in check. I think uh, having those electric miners is helping a lot. That's where most of the pollution is coming from, is the burners. Because the furnaces make a little bit, the crushers make, you know, a little bit, but most of it was coming from these burner miners. Alright. I mean, we've got everything we need. We're kind of just playing the waiting game right now. So I can handcraft a few automation science packs, and why don't I set up uh, some circuits so that we don't have to handcraft those. So we need cable, wooden board, which is wood, omnite tablet. So wood, omnite tablet, and cable. 
Unfortunately, I can't fit anything more around here. So I will need a little amount of space for a separate crafting zone for circuits. So we'll have this guy making cable from copper. This guy will actually be making the circuits. This guy will make the wooden boards from wood and omnite tablets, which I have both of in a chest. 5.5, 0 0.75. So this will be copper. This will be wood and tablets. And this needs to be cable. And there we go. That should do it. Okay, so we should see more sapphire now coming out of this. Yep. Wait, uh, was that right? Yeah, because it was 2.33 and 1.67. Now we're at 2.67 and 1.33. And then the next one will get us to 3 and 1. Which is a much better ratio. For iron. And I can grab whatever these guys have gotten. Put a few more stacks into this belt. And everything's looking pretty good. Except for the part where I've run out of copper here. And iron. Okay, so now these are producing 2.133, so it's actually too much for the one machine. So I do need some more inserters here. And these can all handle 3.4, so they can still handle all of the sapphire. Sweet, sweet. Everything is running as according to plan. I've got seven more science packs that I picked up somewhere. that out so the wood can keep going I really need a sinkhole but I don't I don't think I where to get rid of liquids yet although can't an omni flog turn hold on of course I don't have enough ingredients is it copper or iron I mean? it was um, I think this might be able to turn some, the omnic water into I think omnic waste that, that doesn't sound right. I forget exactly how it works, but there, I think you need another research, but you can make this a loop. I can make waste directly. That seems pretty inefficient. Yeah, you need like 600, so. Okay, this is what it is. You can turn... Wait, no, that's not right. That turns water into omnic water, or omnic waste into omnic water. We need to turn omnic water into omnic waste. Which, I don't know if that's possible. So this one, okay, these are the options. So Omnic Water, we want to turn into Omnic Waste and then Water. And then this needs to be back a couple squares, I think. So I can do that. And then this needs to connect up, which it can't quite do. I need to move this over one square. There we go. And then this I will need to get rid of, which can be done by turning water into Omnic water. 
So we do need better valve systems, but this will actually work properly. Once we can do top-up valves. And it'll probably sort of work on its own, but I'm guessing it'll get stuck at some point and I'll have to dump this fluid. But that's good because we do need a lot of wood over time, so I want it to be a bit more consistent. Oh, and then these can be switched to electric inserters. Awesome. Okay. That research is almost done. We've got a decent amount more iron and copper. If we look at our iron plate production over the last hour, well, it hasn't actually gone up that much, but hopefully we'll see some changes to that soon. And now we're getting three in one. So three times as much iron as copper, which is probably about the ratio I need for this stage of the game, to be honest. I don't, I don't think I need all that much copper right now. Okay, so then I do think the next project I'm going to do... Ooh, non-stack inserter capacity upgrade. I kind of want to do that first, but I should go for steam power. Because steam power is what's holding me back. And then after that, I can go for actual electric assembling machines as well. So that'll be the first big thing, and I'll need 120 of the transport science packs. So I'll have to do a lot of... A lot of crafting of inserters for that, but I think we'll get there now that I have a lot more of the Anbaric ones, and I even have some basic circuit boards ready to go. So that'll make the crafting of inserters faster. So, I think this is a good place to call it quits for the episode. We've gotten a lot done. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you all next time.